Multi what? Isn't it dead? What is that? Um, video. Probably targetability. Getting it small enough to fit in a mobile. Application. I think it's engagement without being ob ob obtrusive. Staying focused on the subject. Uh, w w to, let, to, let, to let the message ring out over bells and whistles. Bells and whistles at the service of message. The biggest challenge, overdoing it. A and having so many bells and whistles, you get in the way of your message and your communication actually becomes less effective. People just don't really know how to do it yet. I think, uh, I th I think study a little bit more before you start doing it. That the, the multi is bigger. There's more of it. There hasn't been a consistent workflow for them. Um, there's times when they're completely overwhelmed. There's times when they're sitting around waiting. And we need to have people that can be plugged in in various different channels. Uh, so we're looking for very hybrid uh, folks that can do flash, that can do multimedia, but can also design and can also you know, shoot and edit for us as well. I think the biggest challenge in multimedia is really the understanding of the ability to use all of it. You know, it's, it's a knowledge, a body of knowledge issue. So much to know. So little time to know it and employ it. I think keeping keep current with what's out there and not jumping around too much uh, on whatever is the latest. It, it's good and bad that there's a lot of new stuff out there constantly, but you've got to be able to measure what's right for you and your client. Making it relevant, you know, making sure that it doesn't become, that, just like I said about design, that it's not just decoration and, and, uh, and cute. Uh, it's not just effect, that there is some content and meaning to it. There's a reason why you use that, use the media. Two things. I think there's so many options. There are so many websites uh, when we're looking to place a campaign, an online campaign for a client. There are a lot of options and publishers are creating more opportunities. So we're just going to see more and more. So it's trial and error or, you know, knowing which, what options to recommend best for the client. Another challenge would be that clients um, aren't defining their objectives when wanting to do an advertising campaign. From my perspective, the biggest uh, problem in, in multi, facial multimedia is formatting. Uh, it's just you know, there are so many different formats and and, uh, and 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 so little standardization that it's it's really kind of hard to effectively collaborate. Almost, I guess to um, to have a product that works universally among all these different medium forms because everything we do today is in high definition but typically it ends up being some little quick time movie on the internet and uh, it has to translate to that which means if you know that ahead of time you're, you're going to shoot it a certain way where things are closer and tighter and that's a challenge but it's something that you just sort of expect. People that never had access to these tools have access to these tools. I mean it's like so I think like being you know like the playing field has been kind of leveled as in terms of who can like make their own content. I mean, it's going to be kind of interesting to see like in the next 10 years, like what that looks like.